Welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter Wright. As always, Russ Keller is right over there, full of knowledge, full of information about credit and how that impacts basically your life because that little three-digit number we call a FICO score impacts a lot of things, right, Russ? Absolutely. Everything from insurance to car rates to home mortgages, everything. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, so let's talk about the difference in credit scoring models, because we get this question all the time. And there's a lot of free services out there that do actually an excellent job in letting people know what their credit score is, what their credit profile is, what's going on with their credit and potential things that they could do to improve their score. You know, companies like Credit Karma, great company. They provide a great service. But the biggest question I get all the time is, hey, my Credit Karma score is 745, but you're pulling my credit and it's only 685. What's the difference? So what's the difference? Well, the difference is, first of all, Credit Karma, like every other monitoring services, uses a vantage scoring system. It's a different set of mathematics. Their algorithms are different. So you come up with a different score. It tends to run higher, for example, than what you're looking at on a mortgage score, which is FICO 2, 4, and 5, Experian, TransUnion, Equifax. And so you really need to know what you're going to use your credit for. Is it a car purchase, a home purchase, a credit card? To know which scoring model they're on, to know where your score is ultimately going to be. And you have to take into account, again, that the monitoring services typically use Vantage. Right. And that's a free service for them or, or for the consumer anyway. If a consumer really wanted to look at their FICO 4 score, for example, it's going to cost them over 50 bucks every time. So that business model is not sustainable for a company like Credit Karma to charge the consumer 50 bucks every time they wanted to look at their quote unquote real credit score. Right. So they're yes. using a vantage score instead of what the financial institutions would use, like a FICO 4 or a Beacon 2 or something of that nature. Now, you were telling me something earlier, and I thought that there was about 16 different versions of FICO. You think it's a lot more, right? Uh, 49 is what I've heard. That's a lot, a lot more. more. <laughs> <laughs> and there, there are, I believe there are some specialty ones out there. Some major uh, banks have some specialty ones, like, for example, for their credit cards. They want to bake something into those decisions that everybody else isn't. So, you know, everybody else is, everybody's got to do their own thing sometimes. Right. Now, there are also some services out there and uh, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, for example, gives each consumer the opportunity to have a look at their credit report once a year for free. Yes, but that does not give them their credit score for free. Right. And the website for that? That is annualcreditreport.com. Annualcreditreport.com. You can go on there and pull down your credit report once a year for free, courtesy of the Fair Credit Reporting Act. So make sure you do that, if nothing else, to see what's going on with your credit, just in case there's some erroneous stuff on there or some, uh, you know, some fraud or, or, or whatever going on, right? Right. And there are some people who believe that if you pull one of those every four months, then you're always looking at one version of your credit report. You're yeah. more likely to catch things that's than a good just idea. looking at all three once a year. Yeah, it's a good idea, Paul. You know, Experian in the first quarter, maybe in the mid-year, pull your TransUnion, then right at the end of the year, pull, pull Equifax. That way you get it three times a year instead of once. That's a, that's a great idea. So what we're really talking about today is the different scoring models and what financial institutions use them for. Again, if you're going to apply for a mortgage, if you're going to get a car loan, those finance companies are going to use a completely different FICO model than, say, the free services that Credit Karma uses or maybe... Um, a credit card, you know, like Discover, uh, Bank of America, Visa, you know, they all have these free models on their platforms that give you a credit score, but don't get too hung up on those free services because typically they're not real. 
Well, they're just not what that, they are a real score, but they just aren't what that lender or for that purpose that you ultimately want to use your credit for. It's not the same. So you have to match up like with like and make sure that you're at least trying to accommodate for that. And you cannot assume that the Vantage score that comes from Credit Karma or any other monitoring service is what a mortgage company or an auto uh, finance company is going to use. When I said not real, I should have said it's not the credit score that financial right. institutions will use. It is a score and it is a real score, but it's not the score that typically right. financial institutions will use. I think that's a, a better way of saying that. Hey, we really appreciate you joining us on the channel today. Put in the uh, comment section below if you have any questions or if you want us to address anything in the future about credit. Make sure you like the video, make sure you share. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and we will see you again next week. Thank you, Peter.